Ukraine's Zelensky challenges Trump. Tell us how to finish the war. And uh, I don't think this is this seems to be a trap. If he does that, uh, challenge well, asks President Trump to get involved. He President Trump is right now just a private citizen. He's not involved in government. He should not be involved in answering Zelensky until he becomes president or whatever. Now, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky Wednesday issued an open challenge to former President Donald Trump, telling him that if the presumed Republican nominee has a peace plan for Ukraine, he should immediately inform the Ukrainian government. Again, this is a trap. This is against a U.S. Uh, law. A private citizen can get, not get involved in uh, U.S. Uh, foreign affairs. Now, if Trump knows how to finish this war, he should tell us, Zelensky told Bloomberg Television in an interview given from Kiev on Wednesday. He also warned that his government will never accept a peace plan that violates Ukrainian sovereignty. Zelensky said, if there are risks to Ukrainian independence, if we lose statehood, we want to be ready for this. We want to know, he said. His word wording of, if we lose statehood, what does that mean exactly? If we lose statehood in the context of discussing a potential Trump peace proposal, appears to set up to blame a possible future Trump administration for Ukraine losing the war. He said that potentially ready to meet Trump and his team and explore a vision for bringing the war to an end. Again, this is not the time or the place for this. That's my uh, comment. But Zelensky went on to claim that the interview that his military manpower crisis is not as severe as has been reported, with the situation in much better shape than it was several months ago. He also pushed back against widespread media reports, which paint a hopeless picture of Ukraine's battlefield ca chances. He described that it's not a matter of not enough men, but that not enough weapons are reaching his forces at a fast enough rate. It's not a deadlock, it's a problematic situation, Zelensky said. A deadlock means there is no way out, but a problem can be solved if one has the will and has the tools. We do have the will and the tools. They have not arrived yet, he said. It's been a common theme of his to castigate Western partners for increasingly slow weapons and ammo deliveries, despite the billions already sunk into U Ukraine. And this was again repeated in the Bloomberg interview. While Zelensky lauded the $61 billion assistance package approved by the U.S. Congress this year. After a six-month-long delay, he said the equipment was taking too long to make its way to the front. Zelensky said it's the biggest strategy of this war, that between the decision and real fact, we have a real long, long, long wait, he said. As for Trump and the question of whether a future Republican administration might throttle arms and aid deliveries, Zelensky said they can't plan my life and life of our people and our children. He said, we want to understand whether in November we will have the powerful support of the U.S. or we will be alone. Nobody has an answer, Zelensky continued. I'm not accusing, I'm just explaining, he said in the interview, which happened to come a day after he hosted Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban for the first time of the uh, conflict. Orban had also urged entering quick peace negotiations with Russia. As for Trump's peace plan, a report in Reuters last week said it centers on giving an ultimatum to Kiev that it will only receive more American weapons and defend, defense aid if it agrees to enter peace talks with Moscow. Another key controversial part of the plan is to freeze battle lines where they are during the progress of peace talks, something which is likely to be unpopular among Ukrainian and NATO officials. Zelensky has clearly appeared more open to negotiating a peace settlement of late, and below is a media statement from last week. Interestingly, there was also this moment of the fresh Bloomberg interview. Zelensky declined to weigh in on Biden's disastrous performance in last week's debate, which he said he watched instead of domestic politics, he gouged each candidate's position on Ukraine. And as we've been reporting over the last months, NATO landscape leadership has been busy trying to Trump-proof future alliance funding and support to Ukraine. And this includes the current proposal of $100 billion 
five-year fund for Ukraine, which will be considered at the NATO July summit, which comes July 9 to 10 in Washington, D.C. And this is by Tyler Durden on Zero Hedge. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.